are at different types of dimensional analysis questions. So I want to do one that has a solid two steps. So if I were, wanted to know how many feet are in 67 centimeters, I need to figure out which path I'm going to take. Because if I'm going from feet to centimeters, I don't know how many centimeters are in a foot. So I'm going to have to go from centimeters to inches and then inches to feet. Because these are the conversion factors that I have. So I'm going to start with my 67 centimeters. I'm going to draw my boxes. Now if I know I'm going to make a pit stop in the middle, I'm going to have an extra set. So if I have centimeters on top, I'm going to put centimeters on the bottom. And I'm going from centimeters to inches. Now if I have inches on the top, inches has to go to the bottom. And I'm going from inches to feet. Oftentimes when we're doing questions like this, it's easier to plug in the units and then fill in the conversion factors. So I know in one foot, I have 12 inches, and in one inch, I have 2.54 centimeters. So if centimeters is on the top and centimeters is on the bottom, they're going to cancel. And then I have inches on the top and inches on the bottom, so these are going to cancel. And I'm left with feet, which is the unit I wanted. So now when we do this question, we're going to do 67 times 1 divided by 2.54 times 1 divided by 12. And I'm going to end up with an answer of, in 67 centimeters, I have 2 point around to two decimal places, two zero feet. And that would be my final answer. Now, what if we had a unit that was something per something, okay? So what if I wanted to do miles per hour, so if I'm driving 35 miles per hour, and I want to know how many meters per second that is. We're going to have quite a few steps in this problem, which is why we're going to do this one out together. So if I started with 35 miles, this per hour really means I'm going to put the 35 miles over one hour. We've been leaving this box blank, but when it's a something per something type of unit, which is what we call a derived unit, we're gonna put one on top of the other. So now my first step is gonna be going from miles to meters. Now I know that one mile is 1.609 kilometers. I'm actually gonna write that right here. So one mile equals one point six zero nine kilometers. Now I could either go from miles to kilometers then kilometers to meters or I'm gonna make my life a little easier and I'm just gonna take this and King Henry died by move this decimal over three places to get 1609 meters. So same process before if I have miles up here I'm gonna put miles on the bottom and one mile is equal to 1609 meters. So I have my meters unit right here, and my miles units have now canceled. So now I'm at meters per hour. So we gotta fix that. Now, do I know necessarily how many seconds are in an hour? Maybe not. But I do know that one hour is 60 minutes, and one minute is 60 seconds. 
based on that, I can now do two additional steps. So I'm going to put one hour on top. So, you know, hour on the bottom, hour on top. Those are going to cancel. And I'm going to put that over 60 minutes. So now I'm at meters per minute. So my last step, because I don't want to be at meters per minute, I want to be at meters per second. I'm going to put my one minute on the top, let your minutes cancel, and I'm going to put that over 60 seconds, because there's 60 seconds in one minute. Now what you'll see is we are left with meters over seconds. All of my other units that I've used have now canceled out. So we're going to go through and do the math. Now you can either do this in the zigzag pattern like I've been explaining it, or if you want to multiply across the top, multiply, multiply across the bottom and then divide, that works too, but I'm just going to zigzag. So 35 divided by 1 times 1,609 divided by 1 times 1 divided by 60 times 1 divided by 60 and you find out that 15 mile or I'm sorry 35 miles per hour is equal to 15.64 meters per second So now I want you to go work on some of those practice problems and we'll check in later.